sounds like something dad would play. That's what I'm saying. I said, doesn't sound like something dad would play. Y'all, I got a new phone. Aren't you special? Oh! You guys, I'm so excited if y'all know who I am. My name is Shrey Ninzi, and I do foundation reviews on YouTube for oily, acne-prone skin. Today, I am testing out a very controversial foundation by Morphe. The controversy is, I think, I don't know, too many shades, too close, too matte. I don't even know. No matter what, the beauty community is going to be upset about something. So these are the foundation and concealer. I got mine in the color F1.70 and the concealer, and I say found it, the foundation and the concealer in C1.25. So I have these, but not only am I gonna try out the foundation, I got the new Jeffree Star and Morphe collaboration brush set. Don't wait, just. I'm really excited. Pardon my wet hair. I was waiting all for the day for the mailman to come and bring me my brushes. So, but like first impression, you guys, like these feel bomb.com. How to do my pink background for some pink brushes. You know what I'm saying. Yet, I did a little unboxing on my Instagram stories. Follow me on Instagram at shwayninzi. Head on over there if you want to see the unboxing of those. But let's go ahead and dive in and see how this foundation can cover my acne. Here is the sponge set. So I will do half my face with the sponges, obviously, and then the other half with probably a Sigma brush. But I did see Jeffree Star using the um, JS1 or J51 um, brush on his face to kind of like buff foundation so I might use this on one side so well, let's see about that. I can't stop listening to this album. Let's get to cracking. My hair is looking like a kraken. What am I doing? Ariana Grande is just messing with my brain. I just can't eat my brand right now. So here are the sponges dry before I get them wet just to show you guys the size and everything and this feels comparable to the regular sponge. I have the Morphe just the red sponge and then these are the pink ones. Got two little ones for concealer, contour, all that jazz so I'm excited about that. And then obviously the brushes you guys these are so beautiful. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> here is the foundation like I said I got mine in the color. F170 and then here is the concealer in C125 which looks to be like a little too pale so we're gonna see how this kind of works like I said I have like a neutral undertone my undertone isn't pink it's not yellow it's kind of I don't know all over the place I guess it's that mixed blood you know what I'm saying that mixed ethnicity you know what I mean anyway but yeah, I did watch the video and Jeffree Star did use the um, J51 for his foundation. So I might use this on one side and then the sponge on the other side. I'm also going to use um, some primer as well because I've really been enjoying the Tatcha primer. Um, I did a video reviewing this versus the e.l.f. one. So I'm going to try the Tatcha one on one side just to see if this does anything. I'm just going to put it where I get oily. Maybe I'll do the brush on this side. Like I said, this is supposed to be a full coverage matte foundation. It has like a little seal on it as well. And I got mine at Ulta and they had it in store. So definitely check and see. Okay, I'm just gonna put it directly on the brush here. Oh! It does have a little bit of a scent to it, but this isn't as like dense as the normal brush I use, which is the Sigma F80. Those Sigma brushes are so dense, not even lying. So this is definitely something for more liquidy foundation, and I think he said that in his video as well. But this is looking a little too pale. That's alright. I swatched it on the back of my hand in store as well, but you know, my hand is different than my face, so it's always a little bit difficult with that. I do have eyeshadow primer on my eyelids already and just doing a little bit of a close up so you guys can see what it's looking like so far. It's a little bit dry, like on these spots here. 
I really like using the 3D HD Kabuki by Sigma, so I'll use that on the top. I'm just putting it directly on here. Let's try packing some more on. Oh, this has more coverage for sure. It's a lot denser. So far this has really, really good coverage. It reminds me a lot of the Maybelline Superstay where it's really matte and full coverage, but it's a little bit too, too drying. So thankfully, you know, I'm oily like in the T-zone, not so much like on the outside of my face. So that'll help a little bit, but I'm just blending it down my neck. But there's what it looks like with the brush. I'm trying to blend it back here. I have a lot of scarring back there. Let's try it with the sponge on the other side. I'm just going to put it directly on. I love this pink color. Oh my gosh. Hmm. It actually looks a little bit better. It's not as cakey looking with the sponge, obviously, just because it has, you know, the water added to it. Here is the brush side, and obviously a little bit less coverage, but not as cakey looking. But um, despite the sponge or the brush, it's definitely settling into a lot of my dry areas. Um, and I don't have as much scarring on this side, but I think I'm going to go in with the Sigma sponge again, just to give myself some more, um, coverage on this side, kind of where I need it here. Here's the foundation all over my face. What do you guys think? Like I said, it is a little, a little bit light for my liking, but let's go ahead and dive into the concealer and see what that looks like. This looks like it's going to be a little too light but we'll look and see a very interesting doe foot applicator so there's what that looks like i'll go ahead and just oh yeah this might be a little too light let's try these baby sponges oh they're so freaking cute well she's get like right in the corners under the eyes, it actually looks pretty decent. It doesn't look too cakey or anything like that. So, yeah, I'm going to try cream contouring, actually, because he likes to use um, the J53 for contouring. So, and I have this palette, the Tardis Pro Glow, and this has a cream contour on this side and it's a little dark for me but we'll try it out I'm just gonna get a little bit in there well, I guess I should I guess this is a little dark for me so But dang, that did a really good job. I'm just gonna go in and kind of blend that a little bit. There we go, I see you contour work. I'm gonna go ahead and set everything and I'll come back and do some eyeshadow. I noticed the concealer like kind of dried down before I set it, so that was kind of nice. And a lot of you guys really liked the eyeshadow that I did with this palette, this is the BH Cosmetics Hanging in Hawaii. This is so beautiful it's your typical warm neutral situation so whatever <laughs> girl can't have enough warm neutrals you know what i'm saying yeah. let's see there's a couple brushes in here there's the j55 so let's go in with a crease color to get this party started Let's go in with the color coconut here. <gasps> These are so pigmented, I'm not even joking. Oh, this brush feels nice. 
crease. I love a good crease brush for sure. Let's go in. I don't even remember what I did, honestly. It's the thing I just messing around with makeup. Let's go in with Mahalo, which is down here on the bottom. And I'm going in with the J56, which has a little bit of like tapered situation to it. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, that fits in like that really nicely. And then I'll just go back in and blend. Just like the piece. Let's put a little bit of a fun color on the lower lash line. Let's see, maybe Aloha. I haven't used that color yet. So let's use Aloha on like the lower lash line. So I'm just gonna go back in with this brush, but like use the cleaner side. Oop. Looking fancy. And then I've been doing just um, Hula on the lid. But maybe I'll do a different color. Maybe I'll do pineapple on the lid. Let's try that. And I just use my finger. Oh, like, look at that. Can we just stick for real? Yes, honey. There we go. Super simple. And then I'll just go in and so it's not so harsh. Come through, BH. Come Row. And then I've been using the um, J52 just to kind of brush away my bake and extra powder. Not even joking, these brushes are so soft. It is just emphasizing a lot of like the dryness. Can you like see how dry my nose is? Like that's not cute. Let's try some highlight. This is the Physician's Formula Butter Highlighter in Pearl. So I'm gonna try this with the highlighting brush that he has. This is the J54. Mm. It's a little pink for my liking. So let's go in with a little bit of Ofra Cosmetics Glazed Donut, which is the Nikki Tutorials highlighter. Just make that a little bit less pink. Oh, that is a lot of highlighter. Oh. <laughs> and then I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip brow and I really I'm not gonna do my eyebrows on camera because the way I do them might trigger people <laughs> I don't do them very well so I'll do my eyebrows and all that good jazz and I'll be back I am done with the makeup what do you guys think I tried like I said recreating that one makeup look you guys really liked on Instagram on my lips I have the new Make It Last Liquid Catsuit High Shine lipstick. This is in the color Send Nudes. This is super super pretty. So sometimes I just want a little bit of a thick gloss you know what I'm saying? So I really really like these brushes you guys. I'm not that type of person that really like goes for like the um, Jaclyn Hill brushes. I was just like mm, they're not that great but these are bomb. Like, really, these are so soft. I was using some of my other Morphe brushes and these are like softer than those. And I was like, mm, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, the time is currently 3.35. Like I said, I was waiting all flipping day for the mailman to come to drop my brushes off. So it is a little bit later, but I'll go ahead and check in throughout the day to show you guys how this foundation is wearing. And on this side, I have the Tatcha Primer. Here is what the foundation looks like up close. It is clinging to my nose a lot and is a little bit drier, but that's where I get really, really oily. So hopefully it'll actually look pretty decent in that area as well. But yeah, oh, I forgot to put mascara on my bottom lashes. So, and I have the House of Lashes lashes in Siren on my eyelashes. I've been trying to do the no liner look. I don't know what you guys think about it. I'm still kind of learning how to do that. You can totally see the lashes and stuff. And I actually bought Claire and Lou instead of the black Lou. So you can but anyway. <laughs> things and the mistakes that we do as women. So I'll be back checking out throughout the day and let's see how this foundation wears. 
All right, the time is currently nine o'clock and I failed to do any check-ins throughout the day, but that's okay. We're here now. And the foundation has been on for five and a half hours now. And it looks pretty bomb, especially like on the outside of my face here. But as we get a little bit closer, you can just see it breaking up like around my nose here and just leaving like lines and stuff and this is the primed side and it honestly looks a little bit worse than the unprimed side it looks a little a little funny and i got this gnarly zit right here oh my eyelashes completely popping up <laughs> but that's okay but yeah i did break out a little bit here and then i got one here as well so that's not cute at all but this is definitely a super matte foundation. Like, you've gotta be really oily in order to like wear this, I think, because it is like matte matte, but definitely interesting. But links to everything will be down below. I'm not sure if you can get the brush set anymore. It sold out pretty quick, so I'm really happy that I was able to get my hands on it, but you can definitely check out the foundation on Ulta's website and in store, and then obviously the Morphe website as well. So I'm really excited that I got to try out for you guys. Let me know what other foundations you want me to review, and I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Oh, I got a zit here too coming through. <laughs> Ew, but yeah, I look really crusty in that area for sure. And this eyelash is looking really bad. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great day.